Burden Tube Pressure Gauge. Burden tube pressure gauges are used for the pressure measurement of relative pressure from 0.6 bar to 7,000 bars. They are classified as mechanical pressure measuring instruments and thus operate without any electric power. This video will cover the followings. 1. Working principle of burden tube pressure gauge. 2. Construction. 3. Working. 4. Advantages and disadvantages. If you are new to ADTW click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification to get all the updates from our channel. Working principle of burden tube pressure gauge. When an elastic transducer, such as burden tube in this case is subjected to a pressure, it deflects. This deflection is proportional to the applied pressure when calibrated. Construction. A C-type burden tube consists of a long thin walled cylinder of non-circular cross section, which is sealed at one end. This tube is made from materials such as phosphor bronze, steel, and beryllium copper and attached by a light mechanism which operates the pointer. The other end of the tube is fixed and is open for the application of the pressure, which is to be measured. The tube is soldered or welded to a socket at the base through which the fluid, whose pressure is to be measured, enters the C-type burden tube. Working of Burden Tube Pressure Gauge as the fluid under pressure enters the burden tube, it tries to change the cross section of the tube from oval to circular, and this tends to straighten out the tube. The tip of the burden tube is connected to a segmental liver through an adjustable link. The segmental liver end on the segment side is provided with a rack which meshes to a suitable pinion mounted on a spindle. The segmental liver is suitably pivoted and the spindle holds the pointer. The resulting movement of the free end of the tube causes the pointer to move over the scale. In real life application, the pressure gauges are mounted with siphon tube. Siphon tube is a simple device used to protect a pressure sensor from high temperature media, such as steam. It can also be used to reduce the potentially damaging effects of rapid pressure changes. When first installed, the siphon should be filled with water or some other suitable separating medium. This medium continuously remains in contact with the burden tube. Burden tubes are generally made in three shapes. C-type, helical type, and spiral type. Advantages of burden tube pressure gauges. 1. These burden tube pressure gauges give accurate results. Two. The cost of burden tube pressure gauges is low. 3. Burden tube are simple in construction. 4. They can be modified to give electrical outputs. 5. They are safe even for high pressure measurement. 6. Accuracy is high, especially at high pressures. Disadvantages of burden tube pressure gauges. 1. They respond slowly to changes in pressure. 2. They are subjected to hysteresis. 3. They are sensitive to shocks and vibrations. 4. Amplification is a must, as the displacement of the free end of the burden tube is low. 5. It cannot be used for precision measurement. If you want more in-depth videos like this, then subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for every special video we upload. Also if you have any doubt or opinion, comment it below. And help us by sharing this video with your friends.